Good morning guys, it's day two of our cruise. We are docked in Nassau in the Bahamas this morning. It is a stunning day, it's about 10 a.m. We slept in until 9.30. We discussed last night whether we wanted to set any alarms or if there's anything we wanted to get up for. And since we are taking today as a day at sea, meaning we're not disembarking, we're staying on the ship, we're not doing any excursions in Nassau, we decided that alarms were definitely not necessary because it's vacation. So instead what we're doing is going up to the pool. I just put on my cover up and my swimsuit. Riley's doing the same thing. And we're just gonna head up there, get something to eat for breakfast, some coffee. I need some water. And um, then we're gonna get in the pool and lay out and just enjoy vacation, just enjoy no itinerary, nothing to do. Originally, I actually did have a excursion booked for today here in Nassau, and um, the excursion had good reviews and things like that. But as we got closer to the cruise, and especially after we tacked on a few days in Walt Disney World, um, beforehand, which you've already seen those videos have already been posted, the two of us had a discussion one night and just said, let's just plan basically nothing for the cruise. We will have all the fun and excitement of activity in the Walt Disney World portion, which we totally did. It was really, really fun. And then let's just let the cruise be complete relaxation, just doing whatever we feel like doing. And um, so that's what we're doing. So we're really, really looking forward to today. And then tomorrow is Castaway Key Day, which is bliss and then on Friday um oh, excuse me on Thursday today's a Tuesday um will be another day at sea for us and that is a true day at sea where we're actually sailing back to Port Canaveral so that's our plan for the day we're gonna go up and get something to eat go lay out enjoy this beautiful weather sunshine it's breezy it's just like stunning it's so different than our last cruise which we had such a fun cruise but it was the weather was rough a lot of the time. It rained, it was rainy, we actually had two of our days switched because of thunderstorms. We just dealt with weather the whole cruise, but it was our first cruise and we really didn't care, we didn't really think about it. But this is like bliss to be in the islands, in the Bahamas with this gorgeous weather. So anyway, good morning, welcome to day two of our cruise. We are ready for some R&R today. So I'm just getting our kind of pool bag ready. This bag I've had since 2009, so it's a 10 year old bag, but they hold up super well and they still sell the exact same style. And it's this Longchamp bag. And um, they fold up, they're they're relatively expensive because it's a designer brand, but they, like I said, they do hold up really well. I've had this for 10 years and I have used it so, so, so much, especially for travel. They fold up to just be a little tiny square size, and so they make it really easy to pack, and then when I unfold it, they're larger. Here you can see. And so I have this little case which we put this decal on and this has clips for um, putting our towels on chairs it has some chapstick that has SPF in it some sunscreen and some bug spray I have a hat in here I have both of our these are our key to the world cards these are what get us into our room and if we decide to purchase anything those are what we pay for these are my sunglasses in here and then Riley can throw whatever else he wants into this bag as well and it zips and it's just really easy to carry around so this is my little pool day bag and it will be my beach bag tomorrow so we're still in the room, we're about to leave, but I wanted to show you, I have this cord, I have this extra long cord for my phone um, that I put beside my bed and I had it just kind of scraggly sitting here when I was unpacking yesterday and our stateroom hostess, Tina, went ahead and she, I'm, she must have these on her cart these little Velcro cord controllers and she like wrapped it up and made it all nice and neat so it would sit there. And she did the same thing over there. It's a little bit hard to see um, there because we have pulled since pulled out some of the cords, but she did that over there as well to, to kind of get all the cords together. It was, so, it was just so sweet. Like it's these little touches that you come back here and you just feel so taken care of. The service on these ships is impeccable. Let me show you outside our view is the Carnival Ecstasy right now um, because they are docked beside us. So we've been kind of people watching a little bit out there. You can see their whole big ship is right there. And there's Nassau and you can see Atlantis. You see that, um, that's that Atlantis Resort. It is just a beautiful day. You can probably hear the breeze a little bit, maybe in the microphone. Ugh, what a stunning day to go lay outside. I'm so excited. We're out here on this beautiful day. We're up on deck 13. It is adults only. Riley has a Bud Light line, and he just purchased this um, really cool Disney Cruise Line cooler. We both think this cooler is so cool. No pun intended. 
and we're just sitting up here. This is an adults only deck, so it's they have like light music playing and there's a breeze and it's warm and everyone's talking nice and softly and it's just stunning. Like there's just it's been wonderful. So we were out in the sun for a while and then we were in the pool for a while and now we're kind of sitting in this shaded area. I just took a nap. And Riley's just sipping on his drink and it's just absolutely lovely. You can see some of Nassau from here. You can see the ship that we're docked next to. And mostly you can just see the beautiful water. We're sitting down to eat lunch now and this is our beautiful view. This is our beautiful view. It is the most gorgeous day. As you can see, there's not too many people in here right now. It's just really peaceful and quiet and relaxed. There's a breeze, it's warm, this food is delicious. Ugh, vacation is so nice. We moved up to the family area because we wanted to watch the end of Zootopia here on this big screen. It's called Funnel Vision. So we are just, we finished lunch, it was delicious. We're just enjoying Zootopia. Riley just went and did a beer tasting and he wanted to give you a little review of it. It was really great. We had five beers, very different beers. They had um, beers in there in the Club 687 that they don't have anywhere else on the ship. So she was very knowledgeable and it was Jennifer. She did a really good job. Um, my favorite beer was this Delirium beer. Uh, really different, little Belgian beer. It was uh, like 12 people in there. It wasn't that crowded. I could ask questions. And, um, and it was great. Now, we're waiting for Christopher Robbins playing. Over here on Carnival, they're playing um, a full, full playlist of songs from Prince's Purple Rain. Very different experience than ours. And uh, tonight, we're gonna go watch the Avengers for me. So we're back in our room, it's about 5.30. I just showered and I'm getting ready for dinner. Riley just hopped out of the shower a couple of minutes ago. Is there any better view to look at while you're getting ready for dinner than this? I mean, this day has been so relaxing and beautiful. I'm so grateful for this weather. It truly has just been magical. Until next time, Nassau. Hey guys, we are just about to head out to our show for the night, which is Believe, Disney's Believe, which we have seen. We saw it last year. It's a cute show. And then um, after that, we're going to dinner. And we're actually going to dinner at Enchanted Garden, which is a restaurant that we did not eat at on our last cruise because the night we were scheduled to eat at Enchanted Garden, we had reservations at Remy on our last cruise. So it's been wild on this trip to see how taking the exact same ship, the same itinerary, and going at almost the same time of year, it's, we're about two two or three weeks later this year than when we went last year. Um, just because this is the time of year and this is the cruise length and this is just what worked out for us once again. It's been amazing to see how different this cruise has felt. It feels like a completely different experience. The energy level on the ship is so much higher because it's warm and sunny instead of rainy and you know, I don't really know that it was chilly but definitely pretty rainy and overcast last year. Um, so between that and trying, we you know, we had a new restaurant last night, we're having a new restaurant tonight and a new show last night. It's just been really fun. Um, it doesn't feel like a repeat at all. It feels like a whole new thing. So anyway, we're gonna go to our show and then to dinner. We just found our spot in the theater and we're doing balcony seats again tonight. We really enjoyed them last night. And I can't film the show because they ask us not to, but I'm sure you can probably find all of these shows on YouTube if you wanna watch them. But we have a little violinist for the overture.
we're here in Enchanted Garden for dinner and we just made our, met our waiter, Sergio, who will follow us around um, with rotational dining. We have the same waiter every night of our trip, of course, except for Paolo. So here we are in Enchanted Garden. And we're just looking over the menu now and deciding what we're gonna get. Riley's deciding over there. And um, they just dropped off some, they ca they're calling it like crushed chickpeas with garlic, so it's garlic hummus, basically. And um, the bread is coming in a minute. Riley got a mushroom tartlet. Mushroom onion tartlet. To start, and I got heirloom tomato soup that has basil and sour cream and some croutons on it. And Riley also got an ahi tuna tower that they're gonna bring him in a minute here. Here's Riley's ahi tuna and avocado tower. Riley got caramelized scallops. And I got roast chicken with sweet potato mash. Riley got a brownie sundae for dessert. There's a little Mickey on the top. Oh! And I got an orange cake, which has a very interesting presentation. I'm excited to see what it tastes like. We just got back to our room after dinner. And we have two swans that make a beautiful heart with some rose petals. Wow, real rose petals. That's crazy. And some chocolates. One for me, one for Riley, one for the baby. <laughs> we were on um, deck two for dinner and our staterooms on deck nine. We decided to walk the stairs and it's just a lot of stairs, but it feels good to do that after dinner. Um, there's all kinds of like fun evening entertainment that goes on in the adult section every single evening. Um, and last year we did several of those different things, but I am so tired by the end of the day. And so, and Riley's really tired too, actually. You're in the sun all day. True. Now. That is actually a huge difference, as I've said 14 times um, on this trip, is that it wasn't sunny last year. It, it was not sunny. And so it just was a really different experience because yeah. When you're in the sun all day, it just like zaps your energy. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put on a movie, get ready for bed, and hit the hay. And we, it's 10 o'clock now, and I think we can get onto the island around 8.30 tomorrow. We're going to Castaway Key, which is Disney's private island, which is literally, yeah. The best. The best. It is like, he like heaven on earth. It's wonderful. We loved it last year. It was by far the best part of our cruise. So we're really looking forward to it. So we want to get good sleep tonight so we can soak up the sun there and enjoy it tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for following along today as usual. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You can leave me a comment below if you want. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Castaway Key Day. Bye guys. <laughs>